and ditch the word sorry. That was a big one for me. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you just bring that violet vibe full force. That violet vibe? Full force. Yeah. I think I can do that. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. It woke up to after news tonight. So let's get to it, man. Stella and Violet had a really good talk um, in uh, Stella's office where it was basically a conversation uh, about what Violet was going through in this episode with a very kind of like disrespectful male uh, partner. And this was her first time as the head uh, paramedic in charge in her bus. And she was having a hard time, you know, kind of setting the record straight with him as far as like I'm in charge and you listen to me because he's he's had a partner at his firehouse or, or uh, at his last ambo where he was, you know, basically him and his him and his uh, partner was basically on the same page. You know what I mean? Like he was able to have input on things and stuff like that. It wasn't like a dictatorship between the two where he couldn't put an input on anything like Violet was definitely a little bit more different than him. So he had to get used to that. And, uh, you know, Violet being with Sylvie, it's been a different thing too, you know, been a different. So it's been a huge adjustment for the both of them. And Violet swung by Stella's office because she knows Stella was one of the, you know, few people that, that she could talk to right now. That is a woman who is in the same position she's in right now. Um, dealing with uh, men who might not have respect for them in their uh, positions of power. So uh, Stella broke down a whole story that, she, you know, uh, that she went through and how she regretted how the situation went. And she didn't want Violet to have to go through that. She told Violet to keep her t tough exterior up and, um, you know, basically not let her guard down against any man who she's in charge of on the job. And, you know, uh, and I say sorry and all the other stuff. So she was basically telling Violet, like, look, man, don't, you know, you don't got to lower yourself down to him or whatever. You know, you, you do your thing. So um, it, it was definitely a conversation that Violet needed uh, or, or advice that she needed to get. But the way that I saw it was with her in Lennox, who's the guy, the, the guy that she was with in this episode. I do think Violet might have. While she should be tough with him, I think at the same time, she kind of was like putting him in a position where he couldn't win with her as far as like, you know, it seemed like everything he was doing was wrong and she wasn't being human to him at all. She was being super strict with him. And I think that pissed him off as the episode was going on, you know, um, and I, I've been like that before, man. Not specifically just with women, but like any um, boss I've ever. This is why I work for myself because I, I I can't deal with people telling me what to do, bro. Like, um, so I kind of related to Linux a little bit, where he had a problem with being told what to do, even though that's kind of you know his job is to listen and obey the boss. But at the same time, sometimes you could get to a point where it's like, man, you know, there, there needs to be a little bit of give here. You know what I mean? Like, I think Violet started everything out so toxic that it got to a point where he wanted revenge and he got revenge, you know, him and Chief Robinson. But the thing about it was that was different about this situation, though, was that we know that he came. He was the choice that Chief Robinson bought in. Mainly because Chief Robinson knew that this was going to happen with him. So, you know, where he would be a little bit of a troublemaker for Violet. So, we knew that that was happening. So, that's why this was the perfect person for Chief Robinson to bring in besides Ember Jacobs. But we're going to get to Ember Jacobs in the next video. Because in the last video, I'm going to touch upon that whole possibility there. Because now we unlearn some more information about Chief Robinson's intentions. But, uh, yeah, it was a good conversation for them to have. I love how Stella was able to give, like, her advice, you know, being in that position as well. And I can't, I still can't wait for Kylie to become a firefighter at 51. Uh, that's going to be amazing, too. So, and a little bit of a different dynamic because Stella is there. And I'm pretty sure her and Stella is going to have a run-in similar to this where Stella is probably going to be a little bit strict with Kylie at some point. And Kylie's going to take it the wrong way. So, 
I could see that happening too, man. But yeah, I, I definitely think Viola was being unfair, but I see the other side on it where she needed to be that way though at the same time. So give me your thoughts on this because this is just a very interesting like little little encounter between those two man but go ahead and get this video a like share subscribe y'all let me get y'all thoughts on this man thank y'all for watching this one we're gonna talk about what she Bowden really revealed to violet at the end of the episode so let's talk about that man but go ahead and get this video a like share subscribe thank y'all for watching after news delight